going back to what, back to the basics of life and how we take all the technology and everything out of the equation and just go back to the bare bones and just trying to live off the land, I think is a well experience to um, partake in. There was no distractions from the, from the sun to us and how the days went. So it's a blessing in disguise, as you would say. Sometimes we need to stop and and just stop and realize where we're at, because sometimes life is too fast. Life is too, living it too fast, you sometimes lose your way in what you're doing. And it takes time. It takes a lot of people, a lot of time, just to get used to something and, and take that time just for yourself. As if you cut yourself, it takes time to heal. Everybody felt at ease of knowing that how the land could take care of you if you just give it a chance to let you take care of it. They felt that spirit and they felt open, they felt calm, they felt at home, they felt that it was the right place at the right time to what they needed to do and needed to share. And that's a spirit of love and respect and also kindness that come in and tapped them on the shoulder and blew it into their hearts and their, their bodies of what it's a good place not to worry. And that's what I felt and, and I knew they would take home something good with them. They will have something to carry with them for the rest of their days.